Bass Reeves, was born in July, 1838. He was an American law enforcement official, historically noted as the first black deputy U.S. Marshal, west of the Mississippi River. He worked mostly at Fort Smith in Arkansas, near Van Buren which is located directly northeast of Fort Smith. During his long career, he had on his record more than 3,000 arrests of dangerous fugitives, and shot and killed 14 of them in self-defense. Bass Reeves died on January 12, 1910. Mabel May Thomas was born five years before the death of Bass Reeves, on May 2, in Van Buren, Crawford County, Arkansas, in 1905. She is the third daughter born to Jesse and Ophelia Thomas. Mabel's father was a man named Jesse Thomas, who was born in Louisiana in January of 1879, and his wife Ophelia, Mabel's mother, was born in Tennessee in 1876. The very first record of Mabel May Thomas is the 1910 federal census. Mabel's mother is 34 years old, and lives in Luther, Oklahoma. She is listed as being widowed. Because Jesse and Ophelia appear on the 1900 federal census, and Mabel May was born in 1905. Jesse Thomas must have died between 1904 and 1910 before Ophelia was recorded on the 1910 census. In the 1910 census, Ophelia is the head of the house, and her only son Eddie Thomas is 10 years old. Ophelia had three daughters, Lizzie, age 8, Ruby, age 6, and Mabel May. She was 4 years old when the 1910 census was taken. Ophelia had a son when she was 19 years old, before her marriage to Jesse Thomas. A fat recording of Ophelia Abernathy will be coming soon. It will enlighten you on this subject. Mabel Thomas is recorded on the 1920 federal census. Now, she is 14 years old, and living in Van Buren, Crawford County, Arkansas. The name of the street she is living on is called, Riverside. Mabel's mother Ophelia is not on this record. One year after Ophelia was recorded in the 1910 census, when she and her family were living in Oklahoma, she died. There will be more on that in a fat recording for Ophelia Abernathy, sometime this month. Subscribe and open notifications so that you will be notified when it is uploaded. Mabel Thomas is not with any of her sisters, nor is she with her only brother Eddie. She is living with her maternal grandmother, Ruth Abernathy. Ruth is 77 years old in the 1920 census, her birthplace is in Tennessee, she is widowed, and she recorded that father her mother and father were born in the state of Tennessee. She is living in the house with three sons, and a grandson, plus her granddaughter Mabel Thomas. The three sons are, William, age 35, Sam, age 28, and Isom, age 24. These would be Mabel's uncles. The grandson is, Calvin Banks. He is Mabel's half-brother. Calvin's father was a man named, Lindsay Banks, and his mother is Ophelia. Mabel Thomas does not appear to be recorded on the 1930 census, however, if you have listened to the fat recording of Henrietta Heath, you may recall that Mabel Thomas had vacated Van Buren, Arkansas shortly after giving birth to Henrietta, possibly due to the race riot that took place in that time period. You may also recall that there was a 1930 census record of a Mabel Heath, living in Camden, Arkansas, and that it was inconclusive if the Mabel Heath in that record, was the same Mabel Heath that we were looking for. Oh give me a home where the buffalo roam and the deer and the antelope play. Add waving bluestem grass, Indian tribes, trees along the streams, and a few early homesteaders, and that would describe South Central Kansas in the late 1860s. The Kansas-Nebraska Act, in, 1854, the building of railroads across Kansas, the Homestead Act, in, 1862, and the end of the Civil War, in, 1865, brought many families from Ohio, Illinois, and Indiana looking for cheap farmland into the area that was to become Harvey County. The earliest settlers, saw the movement of great herds of cattle to Abilene, through the area that was to become, Newton. The town became a dynamic, but short-lived, railhead for cattle shipment, when the Santa Fe Railroad building track from Emporia, met the Abilene slash Chisholm Trail. Longhorn cattle from Texas were shipped to the East Coast, from Newton, between 1871 and 1873. With a mix of cowboys, saloons, and brothels, Newton became known as, the wickedest town in the West. William, Billy Bailey, also known as Bill Wilson, and William Baylor, was a lawman and cowboy, 
who was thought to have been from Texas before winding up in Newton, Kansas in 1871. A career cowboy, and sometimes lawman, he probably wound up in the Kansas Cowtown after a cattle drive. Though he was reportedly easygoing, and even tempered, he also had a reputation as a gunfighter. Having known, to have been in three gunfights, where he killed two men. The Hyde Park gunfight occurred at Perry Tuttle's dance hall on August 20, 1871. The affair began, when Billy Bailey and Mike McCluskey, argued over local politics on August 11 in the Red Front Saloon. Both men had been hired, by Newton authorities as special policemen, to keep order in the city during the heated August elections. The argument turned into a fistfight that ended with two shots fired at Bailey, who died the next day. Newton, the county seat, was a hub of the Santa Fe Railroad. Due to Newton promoter John C. Nicholson, the city was also at the crossroads of two major highways, US 81 and US 50. Founded in 1871, the town was named after Newton, Massachusetts, home of some of the Santa Fe stockholders. The 1940 federal census Mabel Thomas is now, Mabel Powell. She is 35 years of age, and married to Reuben Powell, age 42. She is living in Newton Harvey, Kansas, and Mabel has two daughters and a son. Mabel's daughters are Henrietta Jones, age 16, and Judith Powell, age 5, and her youngest at the time was a baby boy named Reuben Powell Jr. Also in the household was a niece named Louise Jones, who was 15 years old. There was also a stepson named Amos Hines. The final record of Mabel Thomas, now, Mabel Powell, is the 1950, federal census. In it, Mabel Powell is 43 years old, she is still living in Newton, Harvey County, Kansas. Her house number is 223, and she is living with her husband, Reuben Powell. If you enjoyed this family ancestry tree recording, or, fat recording, please, Click the like button, as this helps the channel. Subscribe if you would like to become a member of this channel, and open notifications, if you would like to be notified when new content like this, is uploaded. Thanks for listening. Now, this fat recording will end, in, 3, 2, 1.